Now, the South Korean government has conveyed deep concerns to the US government over the results of Japan's re-examination of the Kono Statement, its landmark apology for wartime sex slavery. This comes as Tokyo has started to promote its findings from that re-examination to scholars and experts in the US. Our Son Jong-in has this report. Japan's look back at the Kono Statement was one of the key issues Tuesday at vice minister level talks between Korea and the United States. We discussed various issues related to history in the region, including the result of Tokyo's review of the Kono Statement. Meeting U.S. Deputy Secretary of State William Burns in Washington, Seoul's Vice Foreign Minister Cho tae reiterated the Korean government's deep concerns over the Abe administration's review of the 1993 apology. Korea's foreign ministry views the re-examination as Japan's justification based upon its own independent survey and judgment. However, according to diplomatic sources, Japan is actively spreading the findings to scholars and experts at U.S.-based think tanks. Delivering the results through email, Tokyo is unilaterally claiming the Korean and Japanese governments engaged in prolonged negotiations to hammer out the wording of the Kono Statement. Experts are concerned this may give the impression that statement was the result of a diplomatic and political compromise between the two countries. The email also gives details that Korean comfort women received compensation as well as medical welfare assistance from Japan. Korea's foreign ministry has denounced Japan's move, saying it will release its own stance on the issue and take proper measures at the international level. Son Jong-in, Arirang News.